Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be testing out Lux versus Lissandra. Should be pretty good. Let's get into her star powers. Up first, each round, the first time you play a spell, refill mana equal to its cost. So you're trying to play at least one spell every round and you are essentially being able to play that for free, which is a very nice power. You also have Pushing My Limits plus one starting mana. When you play six plus cost of spells, so it doesn't have to be one spell that costs six or more, just cumulatively, if the spells you've played are six cost or higher, you create a zero cost golden ages in hand. So you see that right here, given ally barrier this round and rally, this is slow. While it normally costs five, this is gonna cost zero. And these aren't fleeting or anything like that. So you can actually stack these up in hand. And so we're able to generate rallies from playing our spells. This gives Lux a very interesting play style where you need to focus somewhat on your units because you need to rally, you need to have these units attacking with you, but you also need to be focusing on spells to be able to generate those rallies and benefit from your first star power. So it's a pretty interesting play style. For the relics, we're going with Starforge Gauntlets plus Luminous Orb. This is making us Titanic and then giving us plus one starting mana. That's really good for Lux because she has a spell right here, Succession. Sapphire Crystal gets an extra or get an empty mana gem this round. So this is three mana, being able to play this round one. So we get another mana gem in addition to the mana gem we're already getting because of the Star Forge is really good. And then since our first star power refills mana when we play a spell, if we draw two of these, we can potentially draw two spells round one. We can potentially play both of these round one, getting a whole bunch of extra mana. And this is one reason why Star Forge is so good for Lux. It not only lets you ramp up faster, but it enables you to ramp up even faster than just having the Star Forge Gauntlets. And we're pairing that with a Chemtech Duplicator. When you play a spell, if you have six or more mana gems, copy it with the same targets. With all this extra ramp, we're able to get to six mana gems pretty quickly. And so normally we can have this activated and just start spamming out spells and do really, really good. Now, before we get into it, just want to say a special thank you to all the people that go that extra mile supporting the channel, all my awesome members. Thank you so much because of your support. I'm not only able to pump out all these daily videos, but it's also the encouragement and support I need to also do these other activities to make more content for you guys like the streaming and the other channels I have going, giving you even more content every single day. So big shout out and thank you to all my awesome members supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, you hit that join button down below. All right, let's get into it. All right, support champion. Uh, I do like that Zoe, actually. She could make a lot of these cheaper spells for us to be able to play. And she can also generate more spells, which could be quite handy. So sure, let's go ahead and grab her there. All right, power. So we did try one before this and we just got stomped by the very first boss. So we're having pity powers here. Not first boss, first fight. We'll just go, do, go game start, draw two. All right, gold chest. Let's see what we get from the shop here. Double attack is nice. Elusive is not bad. Being able to play this a couple times could be pretty good. Paddle star, we should have that. Like, yeah, we can generate this spell. Uh, sure, getting this at the start of the game would be decent. So we'll get one copy of this, uh, just because we already are going to generate it, so might as well get the item on it. I do like that shield, though. Buffering our units, and if this goes off multiple times, we can just scale up our units to a crazy amount. Right, we pretty much don't have any gold left. So let's see. She Who Wanders is up there with I Am Inevitable, Inquisitor. I think let's go for the top. For one, this champion item chest would be nice, uh, but then also the ethereal emitter could be decent, either making everything we have cost two less or getting permanent spell shield could be potentially good for us. So let's try to go up against the Yeti Yearling with all things grow cold. All right, we got Lux. Yep, this looks pretty decent. We'll actually get rid of the Vanguard Sergeant, though. If we could get our uh, three-cost slow spell, that would be nice. Leave your bags at the door. All right, so fearsome. I guess we could just stun it. Sure, let's just keep them from attacking. 
And then we could also play our Paddle Star that we generated. All right, not too bad. Uh, I think let's play our Zoe. And let's try to buff her up a little bit. All right, not too bad. She'll be able to generate some more spells for us. Morgana, interesting. Uh, I think I'll go for that Crescent Strike. All right, so we could attack again. I think we'll hold on to this, though. Uh, we can get rid of, rid of one of the Remembrance. Moonglow is good. I think I'll actually go for the units, though, in this case. We can actually rally with the units we have. Alright, not too bad. Alright, this is going pretty well so far. Alright, let's drop this, stun both their units. So we could play a bunch of other things, but I think we'll just drop our Lux. We can do this. So now we have our Chemtech Duplicator going off. Uh, we could do Remembrance. We don't really have space for it. I guess let's actually just attack first. Yeah, we can drag this one aside so it'll die we'll make space for our other unit yeah that'll be okay the doors. i've been hiding my life too long oh we got lux leveled Two solid units. Than I and let's try to just abuse our Chemtech Duplicator as much as possible. Uh, let's see what we get here. Silence isn't bad. Yeah, it makes it a much easier unit to deal with. Also, this Zoe is scaling out of control. I just kind of realized that from all of these spells. That's awesome. This should be game. Zoe herself can just one-shot the Nexus. Ah, don't do that. No. I think they realize the same thing. Well, that is not great. Like this. Mm -hmm. the enemy. All right, we can get rid of this one. Yeah, sucks that Zoe not going to do any damage. Oh, 
with their spirits and their souls. Alright, sure. Attack again. We'll try to drag their units aside with our weakest units. Alright, GG. Alright, Zoe is really doing well for us right now. Uh, cheap unit that's going to create a spell. Yes. I guess we'll grab quick attack here not that any of these are really that helpful for us yeah we want to get more copies of our lux but we also want more copies of our zoe uh i guess we'll get quick attack for our zoe that's fine all right trapper i'm inevitable and they're going to capture our strongest unit every round annoying all right we have zoe nice let's get rid of several of these others So we are going to try to pass. We don't want them to capture one of our units. Yeah, we'll just pass. They normally play something round one. Alright, so we could do a Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Refill two mana. Or we'll just attack with Zoe. she'll make a super cool star chart. We can play that. I forgot that she was going to scale up from the spell. I was like, oh, the serpent will be able to be stronger than Zoe, so it'll get captured and not her. Uh, not quite. Alright, so we have three units at 2-2. Two, two. Hopefully when they capture one, they capture one that's not Zoe. All right. Well, I kind of just make sure they're not going to capture Zoe, so I'm fine with that. Let's actually stun this one. Because he could... Well, he could try to kill Zoe, but Zoe's going to scale up, so it won't be that bad. Yeah, that's fine. We want to be play. We want to have the man to play our paddle star. Well, oh, our hand is filling up. Uh, sure. Let's. Since our hand is so full, use that right here. Granted, now our hand is just equally as full. Uh, even if we play this, we're just going to get another card. I guess we can get rid of the Mage Seeker. Uh, let's go for a Silence. Alright, Succession. That is pretty good. That being said... I want to get a strike with Zoe before they capture her. Yeah, we'll just attack like this. Yeah, we already did a spell, so we're not going to be able to get this one back. Alright, so we can end here. Alright, let's go ahead and try to free our other Zoe. Granted, we won't quite be able to do it. They're probably going to challenge and try to kill our Zoe, I would imagine. 
But that's fine, because we can scale her up. Yes. Alright, so... Sadly, our other unit's gonna get burnt away, but that's okay. We're going to try to scale up our Zoe, see if we can end this round. I think we probably can. Granted, our other copy of Zoe is going to get destroyed. Alright, so we will attack like this. We'll then rally, attack again. And that will be game. Nice. To get my hands dirty. GG. All right, should have this at the start of the game. Create a random card in hand. This one, four cost stun, and two or less power. That's pretty much never going to happen. So yeah, I think we need to go for the redoubled Valor. All right, Snowy Razor Claw. This one will be rough. All units have vulnerable. The foes units have four power and quick attack. Not great, and at last they await. All right, I don't think we need two copies of Lux. We can get rid of one of those, and yeah, even both of those. We'd like to get Zoe and some of her support package. Not that we're necessarily going to play it round one. All right, we're going to pass. Oh, that's so much damage. Yeah, we're just... gonna pass and that is most of our health gone all right we'll play double succession so we have a whole bunch of mana so we could play our Lux to activate our chemtech duplicator issue is that would blow all of our mana and I feel like that's not necessarily the smartest thing to do. Oh, that is tough. Yeah, I think I'd rather play our Zoe here. Oh, right, so let's play a Paddle Star and get rid of that unit. Really, with this modifier, we need to try to kill the enemy's units as much as possible. It's pretty unfortunate that they were able to... Got your back. ...have the first attack. That's really not great. Guess we'll let this one die here. Or at least we're getting rid of their whole board. Pretty important to do. Alright, we could immediately attack again. I feel like we need to save this, though. The good thing is we now have a ton of mana to play with. Alright, that is most of their mana. So let's go ahead and stun that. Perfect. They don't have anything else to play. Again, we could play our Lux, but I think it's more important that we just keep playing some of our other cards. All right, let's throw another Paddle Star on him. We cannot let them have units stay on the board. All right, and here we'll just rally like three times and uh, try to end the game. Take my skill. 
Let's see. Unfortunately, we took so much damage round one. But other than that, it was a pretty clean game. Attack formation. GG. All right, Thermo Beam, that is interesting because we could just use this, spend all of our mana, and then immediately get it all back. So that could be pretty good for us. All right, so this is a little rough because we could go down and get Champion and an item chest, which would be good. We could up, try to go up for our Ethereal Remitter. There's some things in there that would be good, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. So I don't think we'd actually want the spell shield one because our stuns are actually being pretty great for us. So yeah, permanent spell shield wouldn't actually be the best. Everything costing two less could be decent, but I think I'm actually going to go for the bottom route here. Uh, we'll go for our Zoe again because she's really been helping us. Now let's grab that Deathless. Sure, the strike draw one is good, but we'll, we'll go for the Deathless right now. Okay, double attack. This unit's kind of more expensive than what we're really playing at the moment, but that could be really good. Alright, spell burn, best defense, easy prey. So best defense could be okay. The issue is we're not really buffing up our unit's power that much, and we're using a lot of barriers. Spellburn could be some damage on the enemy Nexus. I think I really want that slow but steady, though. That would help us out so much more. Oh, this is now tough. So sharing is caring. Really good. Being able to attack every round is also crazy. I think we'll go for sharing is caring. It's really been helping me out in a lot of runs, but that is a tough choice. All right. She who wanders with I am inevitable. All right. We'll get rid of this one. We'll hold on to the rest, especially the double attack, now that we can spread it to everyone. Nice, we have our Zoe, and Zoe, when we play her, she's going to give everyone Deathless, Quick Attack, and Elusive. Granted, we're normally playing her, like, first thing, so that's a, chill in the air. a little difficult. Uh, I've been enjoying opening with the Sleepy Trouble Bubble. I'm going to try to get some more units on the board, at least this one, before we play our Zoe, just so she can give more units that decent power. Oh, I don't think we've played a spell yet, so let's play this here. And let's play this as well. We need our Zoe to be strong enough to survive. Curse me with shackles. Uh, our hand is kind of too full. Actually, is it just right? No, we'd still have the shackles. So let's just go for the Sifria. New recruit reporting in. What's it doing over there? All right, so Zoe would die if we attacked because uh, their I am or not their hollow blood. So that's not great. I think we'll pass for now and just try to build up our board a little bit more. Also, since this isn't a obliterate, when she dies, her extra copy won't trigger. Them all having fearsome is not good. We could drop Lux. Give everyone barrier. Wouldn't really have mana though. Dropping Lux would let us have Chemtech Duplicator activated next round, which could be nice. The sun is shining. We should too. Shine yeah, unfortunately, just Lux can block. Alright, we'll go ahead and pass. So one of the Remembrances won't go off, but it'll give us a whole bunch of spells. 
and level up our Lux. Probably not gonna have room for them all, to be honest. Huh. There's one benefit for having a full hand. Yeah, we might as well attack with these. They'll all die and get obliterated, but we're not gonna be able to scale them up, so kinda doesn't matter. Alright, so we could summon a bunch of units right here. First, we might as well... Alright, so we could do the double attack, but I think... Playing some more spells to get some more rallies and final sparks will be a little bit better for us. Alright, so we can attack again, despite the fact most of our units will once again die. Zoe is really carrying us with that uh, spell, or her power keeps increasing because of our spells. Although I guess Lux with the final sparks is pretty good too. All right, GG. Uh, gain some more copies of this and a little bit of sustain. That's not too bad. All right, we don't have the health for the mind meld. Let's go to the citrus courier. Heal, yeah, we're probably gonna grab that. Yeah, let's just get that nice big heal. All right, so poor sled. Let's go for it. All right, let's get rid of the prodigy. And even the Mage Seeker. It's really good, but we need... Oh my word. We need more of our cheap cards. Alright, Zoe, not bad. We're probably going to play our Sleepy Trouble Bubble again, though. Especially when they have the attack token. It's just such a great opener to get rid of some of their cards. Right, so we can kill that and summon a unit. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess let's just try to reduce down the damage we're taking. Let's try to play. And now, oh, that's tempting. That so pretty. But we're gonna drop our Zoe here. What have I told you? Stay out well, that figures. Time to get my hand. Alright, so we'll attack dirty. like this. Could rally again. And yeah, I think we will. We don't want to have too many Nothing cards in our hand, but notes. also doing some good damage helps our Zoe level up a bit more. So we could drop our Mage Seeker, but I think we'll save this for when we have the attack. Let's play this here, buff up our Zoe. Buff up this one as well. So yeah, sad we couldn't block their Darien Aporo. Alright, I 
I think we will drop this. The order of our emperor, our and then next round, we're going to drop our Mage Seeker to give everyone double attack. Magic is in city. So we stay vigilant. Alright, so we all have double attack and challenger, which is pretty awesome. So let's see, who all can we get rid of? Alright, so we're killing almost their whole board. We're only having one unit die. This is fine. Really happy they didn't use a Poro Snacks there to buff up their whole board. Oh, those are first spell. Those bad. Right, so that could have been better. Done that. We'll use our Paddle Star. So we'll kill that. This should give us another rally. Are we like one away from a rally. Yeah, we're one away. That's unfortunate. Not great, but not that big of a deal. So we'll play this. We get our rally. Their guilt is evident. I mean, we could just play that. Uh, sure, we can drop Lux here. Alright, so we'll just rally and simply have Zoe destroy the Nexus for us. It's time to get my hands dirty. Into the curve. GG. Alright, this is generally too expensive. I think I'd rather go for the guiding touch, just cheap, draw, heal, summon a unit. Seems pretty good. Uh, Telstones, Behold the Infinite, Hush, oh. Hush is good. Let's, yeah, grab that. Uh, let's see. Copy me onto the same targets. We'll probably end up getting that. This is one of the best things you can get for Lux, because it counts as it going off twice. So even though you're spending two mana, it's then going to be essentially counting as four mana and against Lissandra we might be able to make the increased mana cost go to our benefit uh sure we'll grab regen on our zoe and yes we will get the troll chant let's use a reroll here <laughs> more elixir of sorcery uh that's actually yeah it's good but it can be potentially bad into Lissandra. I think for this, I'd rather just have the one going off instead of two. Uh, Prodigy, three cost, five, seven. Again, into Lissandra, it's probably just going to die right away. Oh my word, we got the same thing again. Uh, having Elusive, not bad. Really trying to just look for something that's amazing. So I think we'll go for the Coral Creatures. It having Elusive, we can give that to the whole board. That'll be okay. Okay. 
All right, Orn, with at last they awaken. All right, let's get rid of the Sleepy Trouble Bubble since we know we're going to draw it. We have the attack token, so we're probably going to use it. Yeah, Orn puts on a lot of pressure round one. If we can kill his units, though, it's pretty great. A good fight, the spice of life. Garlic works in a pitch. All right, so we will try to stun that one. Potentially be able to kill it. They might buff it up, though. Ertha, Ertha, please tell us a story. The spirit of the mountain was working at his forge. Well, that's handy. Break it, you Got some blockers, not too bad. Definitely could have been worse. All right, let's play this, get the extra mana, get a unit on the board. Ever been to a blacksmith before? Confine and contain. The spirit of the mountain was working at his forge. Right, we're going to drop our Zoe. They have some very big units. That uh, is not the best. There is a story in... Uh, is this the one where Orn comes out of the lake of lava? For the fallen! Alright, so let's just attack like this with all of our elusives. And let's go ahead, attack again. Let our Zoe scale up a little bit. Attack formation. Uh, let's go for the Serpent. I feel like we're gonna need another blocker. Also giving this uh, challenge to all of our other units. Not bad. We have another Sleepy Trouble Bubble. We're potentially going to use it on their big Overwhelm unit right there. Although they might drop Orn. Stand huh. with me by the light, as my ancestors did. They could have dropped Orn. Let's try to buff up our units enough to oh, kill some of theirs. Face me. You'll go no farther. All right, so I most of our units have right. deathless, so they'll be fine. Uh, let's halt. Kill some of their units. And yeah, we'll just try. Let some of our units survive. All right, not terrible. Let's go ahead and attack. Don't you dare interrupt me, kid. I just love your stories about Orn, okay? And yeah, we can go right here. So we're not really doing damage to their Nexus, but we need to be getting rid of their units. We might use that Dragon's Rage. Let's give everyone double attack. So we stay vigilant. Right, I should probably save this for our next attack. Although I suppose. Escapes my notice. 
how close are we to... Uh, zero out of six. We're pretty far away. Track them down. All right, let's attack like this, doing a bunch of damage. We're going to try to use a sandstorm next round. So as long as they don't open attack, we'll be fine. If they open attack, this is going to be a lot of damage hitting our Nexus. Something burning? Alright, perfect. So, all their units, all their equipment, everything they have... ...completely gone. And we're still at full mana. By the forge we create, and we mend. So we could just use the Dragon's Rage immediately. Might as well. All right, so that's going to be game. GG. Uh, let's go for the Vanguard Sergeant. Well, having another stun at the start of the game, that's pretty good. Let's go try to get some awesome spells. Invoke a low, medium, and high cost Celestial. This would fill up our hand like crazy. It would be able to trigger our star powers. However, that's going to be three cards, so six cards because of the elixir, and then this is going to give us two of our uh, rallies. So that's going to be eight cards. Normally our hand is too full to even make use of this, so I don't think we will use it, sadly. Uh, Shock Blast. Yeah, that'll be fine. I kind of want to go with this, though. We'll try it out. Maybe we'll struggle with not having a free hand or open hand, and this will just give us a whole bunch of cards. Hasn't really been the case so far, but could really help us out. All right, Lissandra with secrets hidden by Frost. All right, let's get rid of these two. Double Zoe's fine with me. We start with the attack token. Yes, let's play this first. Well, so we could scale up our Zoe a little bit more, but yeah, I think we'll play this and then play our Zoe. You will do as I command. Stand in judgment. Well, that's not good. So we will stun and lock up that one. Insolent cur. We will put that one there to fizzle her attack. Yeah, we'll just go like this. So at least not taking too much damage. So we could play this already. I think let's use a super cool star chart. See what we get. Kindred. Don't really care, to be honest. Let's actually get the spell shield to try to protect our Zoe. Because if we can just keep her scaling up throughout the entire game, that will really help us out. All right, so we could drop Lux already. That would give us the benefit of having... Both Barrier and then the Chemtech Duplicator. I think let's try to kill their Lissandra, though. Alright, well, it's good that they're doing that now. Yeah, we can drop this. 
All right, so we'll take a lot of damage. They have their Ice Shard. So yeah, they would actually be able to kill Zoe. Yeah, that wouldn't quite kill her. All right, let's go like this. They still might be able to kill her with the Ice Shard, but she does have Deathless, she does have Barrier, she might be able to survive. Hang on, even if not... Oh, I shouldn't have attacked with that one. I was too tunnel visioned on Lissandra. Alright, at least we were able to get rid of her. I don't think there's really anything we can do to stop that. We can do this. Shine with me. All right, we could use a troll chant, but I think I might actually just play another Zoe. So if we can get two Zoes on the board scaling up. That would actually be amazing. Actually, I guess one issue is since all of our spells are going off twice, they're gonna trigger her powers so much faster. That's not necessarily great. All right, let's play this first. We could do the uh, spell shield, but I'm trying to go for one that's more expensive. It is a bit of a risk. We might actually not be able to play our final spark. All right. All right, so we will end here. That's fine. Why are so many of our units getting frostbitten? Let's get another blocker, give everyone that All magic is dangerous. So double attack. All right, so let's hush that one. And most of our units are going to have to die here in order to survive. And yeah, we can't play something like Troll Chant or Shield to try to save our units. At least a good amount of them have Deathless. But it looks like they're losing the double attack, which isn't great. And our Zoe, all of her stats get reset back down. Yeah, Chemtech Duplicator actually isn't the best into Lissandra. So some of our units have scout and double attack. Uh, no one else down there has scout. So yeah, we can attack like this. And they still have like all their mana, but we're gonna try to do whatever we can to end this round.
Wow, we played one spell and yeah, everything's back up. Alright, so that's just killing one of our units, which happens to have Deathless. Oh, and then it dies it immediately again. That's kind of funny. My cause is righteous. And... I mean, might as well kill... Some of their units if he's going to attack. Yeah, this looks... Fine. They all have elusive. A lot of a double attack. We still can attack at least one other time. GG. All right, able to come away with the win there. That Zoe was very clutch for us. And yeah, Chemtech Duplicator, not necessarily the best into Lissandra, because since it's going off twice, that's counting as two spells going off or two cards, which means you can only play three cards at a time against Lissandra for the most part. So that actually kind of hurts you. Chemtech Duplicator is great for those spammier champions, but that's not good into Lissandra. So might need to not use that on our Lux. But yeah, Zoe, really good. And then also just having that combination of sharing is caring and double attack. Really solid. I think I've used that several times now to defeat Lissandra. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, definitely like and subscribe. Again, special shout out to all my awesome members going that extra mile supporting the channel. If you want to become a member, hit that join button down below. And I hope you all have a great day.